often in ini ct they will ask the corticosteroid synthesis pathway or they will give the random name of the compound and ask will you to arrange the compounds that are formed one after the other so here is a simple logical mnemonic to remember this pathway so we know that the cholesterol is the basis so we have to remember that here pregnenolone is the starting material that everybody will use so he has to be lone at the top anybody at the top will be lonely so here lone can be remembered that someone is at the top now we can remember the sequence by simply following the first digit here 3 2 1 1 so now we know 3 3 is 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase so it will form progesterone now from progesterone it will form 21 hydroxy 2 is there from 2 we can derive 21 hydroxy and then we can write deoxy corticosterone now we know 11 now 11 11 beta so from here it will form corticosterone and ultimately aldosterone now here we can remember that 17 alpha hydroxylase is acting on this towards the second column so anything uh, with 17 hydroxylase would form a 70 17 hydroxy compound so here it will be 17 hydroxy pregnenolone progesterone 17 hydroxy progesterone 11 deoxy cortisol and then again cortisol so now we will see that this 17 hydroxy compounds are being broken down so that they can ultimately form testosterone or dihydrotestosterone which is ultimately a ketone so here we will use 1720 lyases so this mnemonic will help you remember in this pathway